and fall begins this weekend and uh, it's going to start to feel like it a bit more today. We are still watching for some coastal concerns thanks to this pesky system that's been sitting offshore. It hasn't really brought us much in the way of any precipitation, but you can see the waves really kind of rolling in here as we take a live look at Ocean City and a lot of cloud cover just right along the immediate coast where there could be a stray shower today as well. Let's go ahead and pull up our map and we'll also open the walls of our next weather sphere so you can see what today is looking like. We'll take a look at current conditions down the shore. We've got temperatures in the upper 60s in Atlantic City, but Millville at just 59 degrees. Now Millville was uh, down to 56 last hour, so warming up a little bit now that the sun is shining. 64 degrees this morning in Philadelphia and what a beautiful start to the day it is. Lots of sunshine, so you go away from the immediate coastline and it is much, much warmer. Let's take you to the north and west suburbs where we're looking at 50 still in spots like Allentown. It's a cool morning there. It's 56 degrees, Pottstown at 57 and Coatesville right at the 60 degree mark. So what to expect as we go through the day? Let's talk about our weekend forecast, the weekend where we transition from summer to fall and it's actually looking like a pretty great weekend. We are just going to feel again that cooler air move in just in time for fall to begin on Sunday. Right now you can see the clouds kind of blanketing the coast storm system sitting and spinning. It's this large scale storm doesn't want to move out very quickly and you can see most of the showers limited to coastal New England this morning, but can't rule out a stray sprinkle as that system moves towards us or at least a few more clouds moving toward the coast. But the bigger concern is coastal flooding. Coastal flooding is not caused by rain. Generally, it's caused by just water piling up along the coastline, and that often happens when you have a system out to sea, which is just giving this, this these persistent east winds. So that's pushing all the water up along the coastline and causing that coastal flood threat that is going to stick around through the weekend. So minor to moderate coastal flooding this weekend, one to two foot inundation at high tide, meaning roadways could be covered or closed. If you're heading down the shore this weekend, people that live there generally know which roads tend to flood. If you're not familiar with it, you don't want to park your car on any one of those flood routes, any one of those areas that is prone to coastal flooding because we are going to see that inundation this weekend. High rip current threat remains in the ocean as well. Around the region today, it's a little cooler clouds and a few breaks of sun down the shore, only 75 there thanks to a breeze off the ocean. It's 83 though in the Lehigh Valley and here in Philadelphia. So storm system starts to move away. A few clouds may drift through this afternoon. That's about it. Most of the day is sunny and bright. Heading into the weekend, we've got another front moving in and that is going to bring the chance for a few spotty showers Sunday morning. Doesn't look like a huge deal, but the timing is kind of coincidental because fall officially begins at 843 on Sunday morning, and that is when our cold front is going to start to fizzle, ushering in this cool breeze and really kind of dropping the temperatures down from summer like levels to more fall like levels. We go from 75 Saturday to 71 on Sunday at the shore points, 81 in the city to 74 on Sunday and 71 on Saturday in the Poconos to just 64, feeling much more fall like on Sunday. And then as we head into Tuesday, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, that's when those rain chances really do start to increase. So your next weather seven day forecast, let's talk about it. We'll pull it up for you and you can see the difference. You can really see when that changeover happens, right? 83 degrees today, 81 tomorrow with a mix of sun and clouds. Front comes in, it fizzles overhead, but it will usher in a push of cooler air Sunday that sticks around Monday. And then we've got the threat for some rain by the middle of next week. Jan, I'll send it back to you. All right, Kate, thanks so much.